Hey there, and uh, welcome to my uh, second uh, live tutorial. Um, today we're going to uh, look at the grain delay, and uh, we're going to uh, discuss how to use that on the master track uh, as an effect that you can use in a live performance. Um, and let me just show you how to get this up and running. First, we just uh, grab a grain delay and uh, it just um, come in here, right, in the master track and uh, now I'm gonna do a MIDI mapping this MIDI mapping I'll do that with uh, my pitch bend wheel and it's important that it's a pitch bend wheel and not an all wheel because the thing is that the pitch bend wheel, if you let go of it, it kind of resets in this middle position um, the pitch bend wheel uh, uh, you probably know it from your key keyboard and I, I think that it's kind of necessary to have that in order to achieve this effect uh, but let's just take a look at it first I'm going to do some, do some MIDI mapping um, I'll map the MIDI and what I'm going to do is I take this parameter and map it to the pitch bend and this and map it to the pitch bend as well then, very important, I go up here um, under the MIDI mappings and then I press this box and press minus 12 like this and MIDI off again and let's then try and wiggle the controller now it does like this this is the uh, middle position this is full throttle <laughs> and this is full throttle the other way let's just uh, hear that in action mm. here it is So, there you go. This is pretty cool, I think. I hope you can use it, and I hope you'll comment uh, this video, and I hope you'll rate it. And uh, I'd like to uh, use this opportunity to just thank the other guys who uh, wrote me uh, uh, to my last video. I was very honored, and uh, I hope that some of you will give me some feedback again. Uh, until next time, have a lot of fun. Bye.